hi welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about creative block creative block is something I guess we all uh, face in our day-to-day -day lives every creative person every artist every filmmaker faces this problem I of course I face too and so I am going to talk about five ways five very simple hacks which I use personally uh, to get around this all these creative blocks and which can also help you to get around your creative blocks this might not be uh, the perfect uh, method for you it suits my routine my my workflow but it might not suit you but also suit you it doesn't matter you can just try it out if it works good for you and this is no uh, this is there's no rule that you have to follow like this, but I follow and it works for me. So let's get started. I am Ramit Majumdar. I'm a filmmaker. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, please do consider subscribing. Let's get started with all our five tips. The first one is changing locations. We know we have been working in our homes. Most of us have been working in our homes for the past one year now. And because of this pandemic and all this, things get a little bit boring, monotonous and negative. And changing of locations will definitely help you focus better and inspire more ideas. For example, I'm working in my usual study table or even even uh, some some people work on on the dining table or in the bedroom also so if it uh, if you're working in somewhere you usually work try to change locations try to find somewhere in your home some place near your some place near plants some place near nature that will help inspire you more that will change the monotonous nature of your you know work environment so that will help you create more ideas uh, make your mind better focus in your work so changing location is one of the most effective way of you know go around going around the creative block the second tip is very important and I think we should all follow it religiously which is putting your phone in an, another room it's very important you don't touch your phone while you are working it is a very big distraction we all know that and there is no way you can work with full concentration with full focus and full creativity if your phone is just beside you and it's constantly buzzing with notification messages whatever and that doesn't help at all so the best way to get around this is just putting your phone on silent and putting it in another room that's 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 way that's the way I do it and it has helped me a lot I have done two three hours stretch without getting into my phone and because of that my productivity has increased a lot and I am telling you this is one of the most effective way of increasing your productivity of course there's one problem if for example if your phone is in another room and if they if it's on silent and someone calls you of course you won't be able to help so that might be a problem for that i would suggest you have a smart band or smart watch which i use and then it uh, i connect it with bluetooth because of smart watch if i get a call i can easily find uh, my smart watch will tell me then i can go and pick it up if it's very important if it's not then it's okay i can just leave it there and ignore in my smart watch smart watch my smart watch might have notifications but it would be as distracting as a sm smartphone so simple as that keep your phone in another room third most important tip is taking a walk in the nature i would say if you even if you walk in your home and take a break in your home drink water which is very important stay hydrated drink a lot of water if you still if you stay uh, walk in your home you take a break in your home it isn't as effective as going outside and taking a walk in the nature we are stuck at our home because of this pandemic and all going on even if even if you can't go out try to find 
some places where you can find some little bit of plants some little bit of something like a garden or something like that take a walk in the nature go and see the sunlight it's very important that we show our eyes our body some sunlight some kind of natural light because that helps to produce good chemicals for our body and that will of course in turn will increase our productivity our concentration our focus and of course it will inspire us for more uh, creativity and that will help you to go around the creative block again so it's very important you go outside take a walk for 10 15 minutes that would be good enough so that's third tip you should keep in mind you should do it and that this is very important fourth tip this is something which i think everyone does but not properly which is drinking coffee drinking tea drinking even plain water if you want to uh it's important you have liquid all day i would say in every one hour you should have at least some kind of liquid your coffee i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest you drink a lot of coffee coffee should be you know minimum uh, maximum two cups a day you can drink green tea which is healthier and uh, of course uh, drink a lot of water i stressed uh, that point in my last point also is that drinking a lot of water will keep your body hydrated and which in turn will help you uh, create more uh, focusing power it will uh, your body will work properly so your mind will be more peace in peace and that will help you concentrate better and of course in turn it will help you again going around the creative block creative block is nothing but only distractions our body is uh, getting attracted to and because of that our mind is not able to focus properly so it is very important you stay you drink something drink something healthier don't drink coke coke is not advisable it is a sugary uh, sugary i would say death wish so it is not recommended drink coffee coffee which is black coffee is fine uh, don't drink too much of coffee also but you can drink a lot of green tea and water which is very important so keep in mind that the fifth tip which i'm going to tell you might be a double edged sword but if you try to balance it uh, balance it out it is a great tool which is of course taking inspiration from the internet this is something i think we all do but we actually overdo it uh that ca- that can overwhelm us and that can also you know uh that might backfire for many of us so it's important that you keep a limited time in your day in which you might you know go and surf on the internet from inst- from instagram to facebook or whatever sites you go it's important you keep a limited time in browsing that don't overdo it keep a limited time every day follow that in a routine because if you do overdo it it will help it will not help you anyway if you want a good help from that internet want to take inspiration from internet do it for a limited time get inspired just leave it out there don't go it again don't go again there and start browsing it because that won't help you that will overwhelm you again and that will of course for example i have seen a content which i like on the internet i saved it but after that if i browse for more one hour i will forget about that previous content which i liked it and that uh, because of i have seen so much of content that can confuse our mind and of a confuse our creativity so that is why it is important you have a limited time on the internet so this is a fifth tip i i quite for, uh, follows to you know to go around my creative block so these are the five tips which i follow and which has helped me a lot it might work for you but it it there's no guarantee in that i am not of course i am not perfect my routine is not not perfect and it might of course be not perfect for you so you can try it out see if it works for you if it works for you then it's good then uh, do subscribe to our channel because i am going to share tips like this i am a you know amateur and a professional fil- going towards a professional filmmaking so i am learning a lot so you can learn with me my failures and my successes so that will help in turn give you lessons and might help contribute in your successes so of course uh, hope to see you soon and on our channel subscribe for more